everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 2 and looking at the next topic here is 2.3 which is distributed outsourced and in source testing. So here we are trying about trying to understand the test management in more detail from the perspective about the team composition. So your teams may be probably either distributed, outsourced, or insourced, and let's understand what this exactly means. So the story starts with uh, the organization. Any organization may comprise of different type of team members. One is that you have everything being done internally, and you have all the people inside your organization, your own employees are doing the entire project, and they are also at the same location. That means they are not distributed geographically in different locations and you call it as centralized. But generally, most of the organizations may hire some external resources and call them to their premises to work. So that is what you generally call it as insourced. And for you, it becomes like you are going to on-site opportunity on a client location, but for client, it becomes insourced. That means I do have my team my own team but I would also like to hire some external resources for the time being to come together join at one premises and work with my team members and you call it as insourced on the other side when you have something called as uh, you give your piece of work to an external organization to work on it you call it as outsourced that means you do have a single project but some part of it uh, say for example the development is done by your organization but the testing is completely given to another third party organization or an external organization which is called as outsourced. The other one is called as distributed which generally means that when you are, you are an organization you have different branches across the globe and each one particular project is being handled by different locations. But the people are from the same organization. Say one branch is in New York, second is in Australia, and maybe other one is in India, and then you have another one in some other location like say Singapore. And all these four location people are from are, are representing one organization and they are working on one project. But you call it as distributed. Now what we are understanding from these four terminologies and different practices of team members or compositions of team members is that the test analyst becomes very important to understand the protocols here, how the team members are distributed, whether they are insourced, outsourced, and how we need to communicate between them. If it is insourced, it is well and good. If it is centralized, well and good the process goes very smooth. But what if it is outsourced? Then we have to have a kind of memorandum with the external body to make sure that the commitments are fulfilled on time, the schedule is followed, and they regularly share a report with you for all their executions being done. Similarly, when it comes to distributed, it becomes really hectic to a certain extent to co collate with the time zone which could be different because if we talk about New York and Australia, they are quite opposite to each other and that could be probably difficult when they sleep, you wake up, you sleep, they wake up and the co coordination and synchronization becomes a challenge and test analyst has to take care of these kind of things. So when you have outsourced or distributed team composition within your organization, then you need to find the best ways to have a good and effective communication between these distributed team or outsourced organization. That could be through mails, could be instant messaging, or you can also make use of any kind of dashboard which would be common between them so that you finish your work and you sleep. Then they get up, they look at the board and they take the task from there. That could be one thing. Or even there's a solution when you work on a time zone difference, you start a 24 hour testing or 24 hour cycle process, which will be like, you know, you work for some hours and they work for some hours that goes continuously in rotation for all 24 hour long. So it is really important for test analysts to establish a way by which the communication can be done effectively and there are no loopholes between such distributed and outsourced organization or team composition. So that's all what we wanted to convey you from this particular tutorial and this particular topic team. Hope you have learned something uh, different about the team composition here and you're clear about this topic. 
So that's all from this particular tutorial. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on this chapter. We have one more topic to go ahead and understand. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. And thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.